Hello everyone. Today's video has the cover art from my friend Jason Albano's book, No Tears, Northern Company, Giovanni Salzano, The Traveling Mercenary, which Jason just published. The story is set in the Netherlands during the 1500s and follows a mercenary band's adventures. The cover art is a full digital painting, and this video will be a quick run through of the about 30 hour process. So let's get started. So I started with 10 basic male silhouettes that I found on the internet, just plopped them in and color coded them and rearranged them to set up the composition. And then I went through and was sketching each individual character over roughly where a uh, stand-in silhouette for them was, trying to get all of the uh, armor and equipment that Jason asked for. Some of the pieces are actually hiding since they're going to be all stacked on top of each other. But I uh, sketched each figure out full body like this so that the details were there in case they weren't hidden by the people behind them. So then just kept moving along. I would, uh, like this archer, I started with him next to the commander and then moved him up where he belonged so I could try to get the height and proportions correct. And just went along drawing each figure and then adding their clothes on top. This is the uh, guy from China who's part of the mercenary group. And then here's the, the big German guy. I think I had the most fun with him, but that was probably because he was just a big bulky guy. Uh, much more muscular and slightly superhero-y. Basic armor. Went in and sketched all his details in. Added in the halberd, which you can see there. Then I actually just copied him and then shrank it and squished it to make his brother. But then, once I had done that, then I went through, as you see here, and was uh, changing the position of the arms and his halberd so that he looks even more like a different person. His cloak changed, and his uh, facial hair was different. All the proportions were different, but hopefully he looks like he belongs in the same family. And here's their, their cook guy. Again, just drawing in the proportions, it's like I knew, because of those colored silhouettes you see, I knew where I wanted most of the actors to stand, and then I went in and sketched each little person. Actually, the, the silhouettes were really helpful because with the ten characters in the scene, it was like, how do you fit all these? And so, without worrying about what their proportions were, it was far easier to just know. It's like, okay, roughly here's where the actors are. Further on, you'll see that some of the um, the exact positioning gets changed because they're not all standing perfectly straight. Uh, and I wanted to show at least some more detail so it wasn't just like barely a head sticking up from behind someone. Oh, look, here's Salzano, the hero of the story getting him sketched in, and then we'll switch to seeing all the characters laid out for a second. But yeah, there's his cape. I'm gonna turn around, he goes over on the side. So you can't really see it in this part of the video, but after I had them all laid out, like you see on the left, I went through and actually drew a more refined drawing, uh, kind of digitally inking it. There you go, for a second you can see them. So yeah, all those outlines, those I did there. Then I went through and color selected, or um, changed the color for each character so they I could see which one they were, individually select them, then went along and uh, filled in their basic colors. And then what I was doing here was changing the line color itself to match what the object is, um, and that's to help with the painting. Then uh, a lot of the video will be hard to see details just because of how much and how fast, but yeah, it's just uh, this is just basic lighting and shadow passes. Super basic. Um, then I added in a forest background, which I created in a couple other programs and edited. And then, yeah, I just, you know, went through and painted more refined details. 
but it was still, you know, stuff was really hard to get together. And then um, an artist I watched pointed out uh, something which was a big help, which is making sure you get accurate shadows. So I went in and really push the shadows on the faces and like right there it's like oh man already this just made everything jump to be a little bit better because they're more accurate and I went around and did that for all the characters so that they all look a little more realistic then I added some rim lighting and a lot more fine texturing and uh, in a second you'll probably see smoke and then finally the finished piece There we go. That's the cover for No Tears Northern Company, which is available for purchase now. And if you're interested in historical fiction or mercenary bands, go over to the link, which is in the cards and the info below, and you can order it there. That's all for now. So remember, have a big heart, seek joy and light, and be brave.